Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the Gen 1 Randomizer Monotype series. Today we're going to be doing uh, Psychic, and we're starting with Mew, so wow, I feel like this could be the first one that, uh, since the first one that beats Gengar's Poison Run, which was a really, really, really good time. It was like 1 hour 46 or something. Um, the times of the last run, or uh, the time of the last run, is down in the description below. Water comes in a third. Uh, I've actually got slower each time. Um, but we did have serious mitigating circumstances last few runs in Dodrio. Uh, not having its drill pack work. And also, um, Starmie didn't have Psych Beam or Psychic work. And I also main switched pretty late, just before Mount Moon last time. Uh, this is the first run since then. Um, I have no need to main switch, really. Unless I run into a fucking Mewtwo. Or maybe an Alakazam. So. Uh, there's, there's no need. I'm chilling. Now, um, what am I saying? Set here? Battle style set. Like, except run needs to be on. Yeah, I thought I forgot something. There we go. Starmie insanely beat the Elite 4 at level 48. It's a poison Pokemon at the start there. <laughs> so, this is Sabrina's run. Um, the rival. Uh, of course, there's only one weakness like it has in Gen 1, and it's Ghost, so I'm going to give it the ultimate Ghost Pokemon. It seems fitting that it's Gengar itself. Gengar is the current champion. Sabrina was the champion last time. Psychic won last time with Mewtwo. Won the series. Um, series 1, rehash if you like, the repeat. And Sabrina going to pole position once again. Like last, last time it was about the like 4th or 5th run as well, I think. So, as the rival is the Ghost Trainer, we'll make him Morty. Morty's time will come, he'll have a run at some point in the future. Okay, the time starts now. Please let us find a Grimkite Merle. Pokeball. I need to find another Psychic type, of course, to give it a HM Slave. But, uh, yeah, the beauty of Mew is that it's so balanced. It has the third highest average base start in the game, but they're all identical, um, so it's not insane in anyone's start, which kind of works against speedrun, um, but it's really consistent, so I feel like I could give it physical or a special moveset and still do well. Obviously I want to favour stab if it works, give it like a side or something. It does only start with one move, I think, and only getting to the one at level 10, so I hope we start with something good. Please give me Psychic. Oh my god, I can't even hit it. Well, we're losing this fight. Pra oh, that that couldn't have been worse, boys. Fucking hell, I might have killed this one already. In terms of our chances of finishing first. Oh, I mean, it's quite a powerful move, but you get locked into it. So, say I'm fighting Brock. And his second Pokemon's Golem. I'm locked into that and then I get poisoned. Rock Pokemon are gonna be a fucking complete wall. Oh my god! <laughs> the level 2 Alakazam. I mean, I'm gonna catch it. I need to anyway for the HM, but we might main switch. If that has Psychic or something. I can't believe it's level 2, so I'm gonna wait for a level 3 or 4. Get out of it, Sam. Yeah, level. I. That's so fucking. Wow, I didn't expect it. I said it actually, but I was. I didn't consider we'd find a Mewtwo or like a Zam. It's the only two psychic Pokemon I would consider switching Mew out for. Sick with this move set. I mean, Mew's already up to level seven. I'm gonna continue the grind, which is on wilds while I'm here. I mean, we're actually getting a same counter rate right now. But yeah, oh my god. Alakazam probably starts with more than one move as well, unlike Mew. So we're gonna learn a move at level 10, level 20, and level 30. Um, let's try and run into one again. Yeah, yeah we're only gonna learn moves at level 10, 20, 30, and 40. I'll continue killing the Rat Kate. And level 2 Alakazams. Maybe I can get to level 2 before I decide whether I want to be level 10 before I decide whether I want to catch Alakazam and run it. 
Alright, there's a level 3 one. We have one Pokeball. I would have had to toss this anyway. Remember? It has Psychic. And it works properly. Oh my god, yeah, I'm definitely coming back for this. We're running Alakazam. What is this encounter rate, by the way? This is slowing me down. Fuck's sake. Oh my god, though. So. See, Alakazam actually has a higher special rate than, um, Thingy. Yeah, I just said that then. You you can't talk to Professor Oak if you have a Pokeball before uh, and give him the parcel. You won't take the parcel, you have to chuck the Pokeball. So I tried throwing one at Alakazam there. Unfortunately, it broke out. But, uh, yeah, I'll go and buy five, come back, and then it's fine. And I guess Mew's probably going to be my HM bitch. Amazingly, I did not consider it, but definitely Alakazam is, is more than capable of fucking soloing in this game. The only problem is it's at level 3. Um, so I'll have to grind it on wild a bit, which might, might cost me about 5 minutes and all. She could have find it now. Fuck off, right? Okay. Even if it's level 2, I'll just capture it then. Oh, fuck's sake. That is unfortunate, though. Mm. Could I even grind it on the Raticates if it's level 2? I could go to the left, up here. What other moves does it have? Look how fast it is already. Oh my god, it's slashing sideways. Oh, yeah, this is sick. Let's go, boys. The big Alec is on. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna save state here. It's good that we have HM coverage already. Right, this should one shot Krabby, even at level three, I think. Kind of need to, so it'll probably. Alexander's defense is. Alexander's defense is awful, so like. I need a, uh, I need a real. Like, if I get hit by something, like a rat cake. Uh, so if it had like crash itself and fuck me up. Right, please don't hit your hydro pump this time, probably. I just wanna get it to level five or six, then go and fight the trainers. Might have to fight an extra few trainers in the forest to get it up to shape. But what to find, wow. I like to <sighs> Level four. Will we kill it? He's a god, look at him go! Level 5, that'll do. I think. Let's power on killing any trainer that wild Pokemon in the forest. Yeah, there's numerous things to concern you in these runs. Most primary being what you start with and finding their main. Second, really being um, finding a drink. So we've got to find a drink still to get through Rock Tunnel. If we have to go through Rock Tunnel, just over. We were off the Gengar side time. It was such a good time that we do need near perfection. Nice, there's a drink. Everything's gone off metal, for Zapdos. What's a safe state here? This could be dangerous. Nice. That won't kill it. be weakened for the thing. I should have. I shouldn't have used another cycle for this day. Oh, we got two drinks actually. Yeah, we only lost a couple of minutes really switching to the Alakazam, so I feel like it's still on. Um, just gonna tell you, I'm gonna go straight to the level nine Pokemon. We we have an X special as well if we get stuck on Brock. So it's a shame this isn't the electric or. Uh, Flying run? What is that off? Yeah, it's another reason Gengar run went so well, but like it uh, this is everything's lining up. Oh my god. Bear in mind with the Gengar run, we did have a ghastly and a haunter for quite long periods. We've got a super repel to get through moon. Like a lot of steps through moon. This is perfect. I should outspeed it and probably should one shot it. Oh god, I don't. Alright. We're gonna just play it out until it misses Mega Kick. If it has another move though, uh, I might have to get a few levels, so I'll speed it. 
Does it one shot me? If... Mm, will it one shot me with that? No, I did resist. Nice. So level 10 now. Let's go, Zan. That should be enough to beat Brock. Unless he has something cocky. Dark oh, God, yeah. Can I really rest easy until you threw Brock? Because he can wall for level 14. In before he throws up me too none. Even then, to be fair, I've slash. I have a lot of money to spare as well. Let's buy potions. Yeah. Escape road. I expect a great things of psychic, and it's been a hell of a start. That's really, really positive start. I feel like we're definitely in contention now. As long as I don't fuck off. If I play well, I still need to like play well myself. So I played out my skin the first one. <laughs> it is ghastly. Alright, this will have to be me, I think. Never mind. Nice. Oh my god, it lit. Alright, I might be dead here. Fuck. Okay. I didn't expect that to live. I'll need one more level. I'm gonna go again in the hope that a crit or it misses a move or doesn't shoot it. It gets me pulling the or some shit. If I lose this time, I'll fight the trainer below drop. Get a few more levels. Nice, there we go. That's what I was holding out for, that's it. Sabrina defending the crown is uh, starting really well. Good to see. Ice punch as well, my god, boy. <coughs> this is it. This could be the, the gold standard of runs. I doubt I'll ever beat. <coughs> my voice is going here, sorry. <coughs> I doubt I'll ever beat the Me Too run. Just because I started with Me Too and um, we had Psychic after Brock. And obviously it's the best Pokemon in Gen 1. No comparison. Uh, however, this is very capable now. Psychic Slash Ice Punch. Psychic and Ice is pretty good coverage. We have Slash for scenarios like this, where it'd normally be a bit tough. Psywave's gonna be the next to go. Yeah, we can deal with Executor now. Price punch. This fucker. Is there anything that walls me? I don't think so. Some Pokemon I'd rather not see. Obviously. Um, yeah, I don't think anything truly walls me. Other psychic Pokemon? Yeah, I'm used to also the nice. Some of them, there is an execute. I didn't heal. I probably don't need to. This is a fucking monster move, so that's really. Nice. No, I don't want to win Razor Wing. Fuck that. I got excited then. If it was Razor Leaf, like, holy shit. The move set. We'd be sorted for water Pokemon. <coughs> Still trying to think. Oh shit. Psyro doesn't work properly. I can't do a Psychic then. Yeah, that should have been super effective. I meant to use Ice Punch, but got moved it. Um. Thankfully I only started using solar I probably would have even lived that. Uh, I do need- do want to keep a physical move just for Chansey. Chansey has insane special stats. Even compared to like, Alakazam. Um, so I think Slash. I'll probably end up going if I find Earthquake or something. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm still not sure, actually. I could probably deal with Chansey in a few hits, and I don't think it could hurt me too much, to be fair. Not very effective. I mean, it's part fire, but it's also part flying, so I thought that'd be neutral. At least Ice Punch works properly as well, though. That's good. I had a Jinx with Blizzard. Last time on the ice run, it didn't fucking well. 
It is, it is odd. Like, it's obviously like certain Pokemon. Like, Starmie had Psybeam and Psychic. I saw it at different occasions last time. It just didn't work. I'm not gonna buy the Magikarp. Don't need it. Mew is gonna be my HM bitch. I cannot believe I'm saying that. But. Alakazam is the man. Yeah, we could catch Slowpoke. Just for an extra thing to switch out. So yeah, I might as well fuck it. Is Slowpoke even. I think they are both water psychic. Slowpoke definitely is. I was wondering if it. Might be a case like Shelda. Oh my god, stay in your ball. I'm immediately regretting this. It's costing me like 30 seconds. Not worth it. Fucking didn't even catch it. Fuck that. Four Pokeballs are it? It's only a fucking slow. Alright, oh, whatever. We've had a really good start. I won't dwell on that. Don't need to look for any items in Moon. We've got a drink. It would help to pick up other items. I can sell, etc. There's a TM in there. I'm not even gonna go for that. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm happy with my moveset for this stage. Just hopefully it doesn't turn out that that was Blizzard or something. Maybe a bit grim. Like, even if I went in a Leaf 4 with Psychic Ice Punch, there's two of my moves. That'd be a pretty good start. I'm sure I'll find something else. But... Yeah, we're powering out. Yeah, I'm gonna take this opportunity and this chance to do a really quick Mount Moon. I've been pretty slow through Moon the last couple of runs. I feel like I'm definitely ahead of Gengar at, at the moment. Or uh, Ghastly at that point. Really, bro? I can't believe that look. Metapod, the fire defense and dragon. The, the, there's loads of good things. Fuck me, we could have run jeans. At level 12. Or we should save the Pokeball now. Oh, well. oh, come on. Man. Oh. I thought it was on a counter. The super power getting through Moon was massive as well. It really was. Oh, then it's Psybeam. As well got rid of Psywave. I wonder if Psybeam works properly too. We'd use that against weaker Pokemon. Um, then save Psychic for like better ones. You know, like Psybeam on a Machamp. Uh, on a Machop, but Psychic on a Machamp, for example. As always, we take Lord Helix just because it's quicker. Yeah, you've seen exactly now why Super Repel is so useful on Moon. If you've not caught any other runs, or are unfamiliar with Gen 1. Mount Moon's encounter rate is insane. I'm sure it's busted. The encounter rate in the forest is really low, but in Moon. Yeah, I'm gonna get this too. Not too far away. Uh, yeah, and say for example, out of like 10 in the forest, it's probably like 3, but in Moon it's like 7. So I feel like they just fucked it up and gave Moon like an extra point. Well, Ember, pretty trash in terms of power, but I might as well for the coverage get rid of Psybeam. I do still have Psychic. But uh, Ember will be the next move to go, I'm sure. Probably should have done Misty first and feel the thing. This PP is gonna drain on fucking Middle Bridge. Right, safe state. I'm very confident. We may have a deathless run here. Oh, it's Gengar. Yeah. We'll be fighting you in a minute, so let's test. It should go down one. Nice. Well that's that's good, because the rival's gonna have a lower level Gengar than that. Misty will have a level 19, level 21. Alright, uh, level 18, level 21. Is it 18, 20? I don't know, I have a way. Sandrew's no problem. Level 21. Should one shot. Ooh, wow, well, thank god she did that. Hyper Beam for Lick Summon, probably dead though. 
Even I could double edge for the fuck no. Oh, what's your TM, Misty? Oh my god, boys. This is the one. This is the fucking run. Again, it's probably still going to be the next move to go, because the vast majority of grass Pokemon in this game are also part, um, poison, so Psychic will deal with them anyway. Uh, what we want to see next is either Razor Leaf or Thunderbolt. Hoping to find an Alex or Aether for Elite Four. Yeah, it's only really gonna be. And I've got Ice Punch anyway. Um, but say, like a high level Executor, I could one shot Fire Blast that might live in Ice Punch. We should have Psychic side up here, I don't think we She's got. Haunter and... He really is fucking Morty. The Haunter and Dendo. Must remember as well, guys, that the very last Pokemon we're going to take on in this whole thing is always the fully evolved version of whatever you start with. So, the very last Pokemon in the last champion battle against the rival will be a very, very high level Mew. So, well, that could be tough to deal with. Probably will have to get excitement for the core. Just something I don't think it did with Gengar. Not wrong, I think it just sailed through anyway. So, uh, yeah, I probably do have to keep like a very good. Um, physical move for that, maybe? I don't know. Actually, no. I need to hit it with a special move for me, definitely. That was way high defense than that. I have like attacked my weakest start along with defense. Look at these crits as well. We're gonna hit a lot of crits in this run. Because Valak is arming insane base speed stuff. It's a fucking beast. This could beat me to sign actually. With my route and changes, I've cut out a trainer and got an extra TM. In a um, thingy recently. Silk pet. And we're not psychic, so we've got one left. Probably shouldn't have used it. On a. Ditto. Or a slow poke. Fuck no, I had to use it on slow poke. I'd already left slash on it. Fuck up. Nice. You are exactly what I want to see on it. So I want to use Ice Punch. This. I'm getting pretty fortunate with what Pokemon I'm running into at the moment as well. We have good coverage, definitely, but I've not seen a Mewtwo or a Mew yet. They're the only things that would really concern me right now. And possibly Snorlax. For you, Jinx. I guess the Fire Blast deals with Jinx, but I feel like Slash would probably fuck it off pretty quick. Anyway. Mm, probably don't one shot this if I'd psych it. Oh god, okay, this could hurt. Nice. Survive, but... Yeah, one more hit from a good Pokemon, we might go down. It's time to start safe state before fights again. This TM. Slam. Not a chance when I teach you slam. It's fucking shit. 75% accurate or something. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not quite body slam. Slash is one of the best normal type moves I could have had, honestly. I'd still prefer Earthquake or Dig. But, um, yeah, this is very good. It's well. I think something I've not done recently, uh, well it's all this run, something I did more last time, I think at the end of this run I will look at the log file just to see what Mew would have learned. 
I'm curious. We were close to level 10. Who knows, it may even get to level 10 this run if I have to switch out at some point from Zan kill something that gains switch XP. Um, but yeah, like... We, we were getting close to that anyway. If it land level 10 at Psychic for Mew at level 10, I might stuck with it. Never know. Please with my moveset right now. Though. It's very good coverage. Oh my god. If I missed there, it could have killed me in the jump. The attack's insane. Guys, punch a pillow. I'll never understand why it's super effective Ice Punch on Gyarados. It should be neutral. Oh, I tell you what, fuck. What do I do to almost all? Oh, okay. If he had like Rock Slide, then that'd probably kill me. Nice, we're through. Because I haven't picked up as many items as well. I won't have to deposit items in a PC. Quite as soon as shit. I just stood there like a dick then. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. <coughs> nice. The screen received the SS tickets. Probably should have escaped right there. I could have risked making it to the million by using the center there, but there's three extra fights and I am like one shot. I've got no revives or anything, so. We'll take no chances. There's no point taking chances when I feel like I'm probably in the lead on the poison run at the moment. This is shaping up to be a very, very good time. I would like a PP up though, Psychic. Like, it's a shame that it's only fucking 10 PP. That's why Psybeam would have been nice, but you know, I just thought I figured the extra coverage from Ember in the way. Okay, let's go the TM shop. The moveset is good. I could have maybe cut this out. But I feel like it might just set us up totally. So it's it's just worth sticking out in there, fuck it. Oh my god, straight away, that's fun to punch. No. That is ideal. We got rid of fire blast. So so I never did check that to him. Tackle. God. Um, I did get an Aether for the actually. It should be enough. But just Aether Psychic. Still hoping to find like a Thunderbolt, an Ice Beam, or Blizzard, or Flamethrower. Anything like that. Am I on for it? Uh, let's go up top first then. That was a waterfall. Oh, we could teach it surf as well. A solar beam. Oh my god. Like, I might keep all these TMs as options. And a stone page. It's this one. A 
should have picked them up second, because it would have had more room to let the fire shift quick. Invasion can go. Don't need waterfall. I'm gonna keep soloing from now. In fact, no. Let's sell it. Okay, safe state. Right. I just remember the last one I bought. Wow, I had enough room to buy everything then. Sweet. Those win now. Amnesia. Ooh. Could keep Amnesia. Drill pack and Sky Attack can never even wear. Crab Hammer, no. Flash, no. Yeah, this is a moveset for physical Pokemon. <gasps> Thunderbolt. Let's go. Right, the only one we're gonna buy is this. Oh my god, we are so sad for This is a good enough move set to go through the whole fucking game, no, I think. Including the Elite Four. Oh my fucking sweet Jesus, we're all stuck. So, on two vermilion. It was worth it, that thing, to get Thunderbolt. Just in case I run into something like the Blast Elite again, or a high level one of them fuckers. A high level slow bro. Could have stalled me quite a bit. I've never seen an electric type fuck up in any Pokemon. But here we go. I wanted something to test it on. Literally the perfect Pokemon to test on. Nice work. Should move it second really from the ball. It's me second best attack. Maybe a bite spawn. Technically slash will deal more than ice punch or more, but um Oh nice. Thunderbolt to me really useful. One psychic probably would have killed more first. Risky. I'm a fake fan of Alakazam. I'd even say save for this fight. Still feel we'll get through. Pretty comfortable at level 29. Pretty stuff. So yeah, let's move Thunderbolt there. I'll probably forget a couple of times. Thunderbolt, a fucking. Zap got over there. Magic, it's still worth it. You know. And a Thunderbolt and an Executor. Maybe Psychic and Compare. Probably live anything. Else. Definitely needs to be psychic from Gengar, get wrecked. Fuck out of here. Uh yeah, I'm kind of surprisingly toying with the idea of not teaching Sir to Alakazam. Having Slash there just in case of the Chansey or other psychic Pokemon, or you know, Earthquake if I can find it would be worthwhile. So, right now, I think all I'm looking for maybe is Blizzard and Earthquake. Then I'm, I've pretty much got like the perfect move set. So, I'm not too aggrieved, like, I'm not too bothered if I don't find them, I'm, it's good enough. To deal with the loophole. Uh, so, this is always a nice test of any run though. 
Oh my god, everything is coming up now. <laughs> How quick you get through Sage is always a fucking like question mark. This could not have gone better, honestly. Oh, light screen as well. I'm not gonna see chip, but fuck no. I could have done bad for you, Splash. Like, if I need to do that in Elite 4, I could always go and buy Amnesia. That was for sale and sell it. So, what's your TM Surge? Be Blizzard. Sidey. <laughs> I've already thought that. Um, got rid of it. Don't need it. So I'll we'll sell it eventually, but again, what a hell of a move. It's definitely the way this file itself so far and the unplayed that played out its but its favourite special Pokemon with the gym badges. The shop badge is actually favoured physical Pokemon. But uh We already had like a really good move set on it. And we did find Thunderbolt there, to be fair. Pick it up then. Yeah. Flying Mew. Can fly actually. Look at the film. The bad man. Oh shit! Alright, one thing I didn't get, okay, this cost me a bit of time. Oh. I'll, I'll beat Erica while I'm here then. Let's kind of cut that out. Uh, I didn't get a Pokédoll. I need a Pokédoll, of course, to get through the fucking thing. It didn't cost me much time, but I was literally in the fucking mark before. Yeah, got that. Oh well. So it's a bit on my normal route that I've been taken lately. I'll normally fight Rival in the tower and get the flute, then beat Erica. So at least get a few more levels, but I don't think it should matter. With this fucking Pokemon, this Musa. That is not ideal though. I don't think I'll one shot this with anything. That's a crit it. <laughs> oh my god. I like the zombie, you're the gift if you don't. Shit. She has got a good team. She'd still kill it. It's getting these clutch crits at clutch moments, like killing Brock early. She actually had a bell spot. It's no victory bell low. I'm not even gonna look at the TM until I'm next to me. I just don't really need to. Yeah, I'm gonna be at the shop in a minute, so I'll sell some shit. Do need to deposit soon as well. No. Right, we don't want well until. Uh, so what? So what? Oh, you buy off the stone guy, don't you? I can't remember exactly Mewtwo's time the last time, but I'm pretty sure it was one. Four, I, think. I made very few mistakes on that one, you could count them with one hand. Um, I've made a few on this one so far, but nothing too glowing. No, alright, that's one. Shit, this person has five Pokemon as well. Yeah, it's gonna cost like a minute. Damn, son. 
fucking bike. I, I, I recognize the thing, you're gonna try to slow the bike down, it just didn't stop. I was passing right. Oh well, uh, it's a bit more XP at least, than money. Power on the prime example of Pokemon where I kinda need it from the vault. I feel like it would have loved anything else. Well I had no psychic. Uh, this is the only unknown thing. I reckon I need to heal Psychic for the Gengar. I should have saved that one psychic for the Gengar coming up, and then we have the heal thing. So yeah, there's a couple of mistakes here and there, but um This is still very, very good right now. It's gonna be an interesting one. It'll definitely be close with Gengar. To be honest, in my mind right now, I'm kind of targeting the two time last time. It was actually 144. I deleted the fucking. Oh, it do have. I'll let you know next episode, guys, how we get on. Because it do actually remember uploading the video. So the video of that run is on my YouTube. I think I will compare them. I can't get out of myself actually. All it takes is a cocky Elite 4, which Mewtwo did have, I think. But it was a fucking Mewtwo, so it's dealt with it. This is a fuck up as well, actually. I do not think I have any repels in here. Shit. Yeah, I didn't buy repels, okay. This could slow me down a lot. Oh, damn, man. Fuck. I've gotta go through quite a few floors there. This will probably add like a minute. Hopefully, I get lucky with my encounter rate. Definitely need to remember to buy repels. I'm not going to need them again until I go to Safari Zone. Um, but I'll just get some in. Saffron. I need to get. More escape ropes as well. No, bro. Fuck. And he starts talking ahead of this run. Choking a bit last few minutes. Every second counts when the runs are this fast. Fuck. Go away. Random goat. not gonna heal to save that time. Ah oh man, anyone would regret that. It's only been like four encounters so far though, and this is the final floor, but it could have been worse. It's not like this is fucking Mount Moon. You're gonna super repel through Moon, this is pretty close. Okay. Definitely, like, I wonder, I wonder what time we'd have been on if we started Falakazam. Like, holy shit. We'd have probably been like 40 minutes in at this point. Which is, like, we're basically like halfway through. Of course, only four is dual measuring stick. No, go away, man. Five encounters. Every encounter takes about 20 seconds.
Oh, hello me. It's I been worked. Quick attack. So they're the moves we'd have ended up with. I wonder if it was Psybeam we would have learned at level 10. Yeah, Mew would have still have been really good. It was still the right decision, clearly, though, to switch to the zone. But Mew would have also got through Brock pretty early, I think. Yeah, I wonder if it was. Would have been quicker with Mew. It did only take a couple of minutes to get Alex's armor to scratch, though. Killed like three things, it got us to like level six or something. Yeah, it's worth considering as well, I only started off in level two Alakazam. Couldn't have, literally couldn't have been worse. In terms of level star. We'll see, uh, look at the log file at the end. If we would have learned quick attack at level ten, with then the new then. Rock would have been a real issue, I think. As he often is, really. Yeah, Brock's kind of like the first real test of these ones. Um, often the biggest. So I need to buy some repels. Go to Saffron. Should have gone to Saffron actually. Should have gone to Cerulean, where the mart's like closer. But actually, we can buy revives here. I don't think I have any right now. So just in case of emergency, it's handy. Ah, and they have match repels actually. Yeah. That's great. Right. I like third escape Four arrives. Two full heals. Gonna deposit items, I think, when I get to um, Fuchsia. I'll deposit the HMs. Probably after I pick them up. I think I've got enough room to pick up certain strengths, because I haven't really been having to pick up a lot of items. Because I found the drinks so early, and I'm not really needing to hunt TMs quite as much. Uh, right, I think I'm chilling. Oh my god! <laughs> I wish I had a Pokeball. Fuck, I'm just running from there. No way, man, the Snorlax is a level 30 Mewtwo. Fuck. Would I have main switched? I doubt it. I've got to stick with the Zam. I think we this move set on it. But I could have gone and got Thunderbolt very quickly. Uh, and taught it Psybeam. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe a regret. Oh well, I could never have predicted that. I regret that straight away. Thought it low, but nice. No, I don't want to switch. Swift. My level up moves have kind of been a bit garbage. Zam. I've got the TM up as there, and it's it started with Psychic actually. I can't like disregard that. Okay. I'm surprised I've still got Slash. <laughs> I did not expect to still have Slash. Psychic for Magmar, I think. Well, we got a crit anyway. Save state. He could, he's gonna have a level 43. Could be Mewtwo. Omanite is far from ideal as well. Spot the, the most wall y thing. Oh no, Thunderbolt chat. Got about it. Shit. 
church fund about it. So you sell up trash. Oh, and a crit. Wow, okay. Glad it saves states. She saves a revive. I'm a bit of pissing about. My fear fight used me X special to pick up on. I'm just gonna see what Thunderball does to it. They don't crit me. Oh, keeps getting crit. Yeah, I'm gonna act special uh, on the Armor Knight. Help her for healed up as well. She'll probably apply the two potions. Well, let's see if this works. Oh god. Fuck you, you quick attack. It's bitch. Shit. Uh... Mew, you were our friend at the start. You're gonna fuck me. It's good to know Earthquake well, it won't kill me though, even with a crit. I don't think we're gonna one shot the Mew, but I think we'll live through anything now. Bro, the quick attack deals that much damage, what the fuck? Nice. Everybody's knocking out as far. Oh, thank fuck. Let's go, boys. Yeah, that was the hardest fight so far by a fucking mile. We do not want to see Mew on me too. Double Edge is better than um, Slash in terms of damage, but there's no way I'm teaching that. For obvious reasons. We deal with recoil damage. Bro, like, I can't even get it. Yeah, no. My move set's good now. Sure. I mean, I might as well pick up this one. I can stop. Fucking bad. Oh, I don't know, it's me fucking repelled on Oh well, free. Did I pick that up? Yes. No. Stomp! And splash! <laughs> Could have been more shit. And so, uh, splash as a TM. Imagine the scene. If you have like, it'll happen one run, I've got like fuck all moves said. So my mind should get through Brock, desperate for a TM, and he gives me splash. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give Seth and Strength to the Mew. I will keep Seth in my party though, just in case Mewtwo needs it. Um, from nearly 4. There is, of course, a reversible though. So, like, if it's against Laurelay or something, I might try and find a way out around it. I think it was a nice pickup. I've probably got enough now for the other 4. Let's go boys, this is very, very fast so far. Time to heal. So we got four obligatory fights now and so rather than the old five that the old used to take.
Unless Puff leads me to a TM as well. Uh, there might not have room. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to deposit shit. Okay, yeah, that'll be me. I'll just talk to this shit TM. There we go. Yeah, I need to deposit various things. Get away with a ice punch here. Yeah, go. So level 40, we're not even that like under level as well, like it's a fucking last drop. We're at beat daily 4 at level 48 with Stormy. Next fight though is always potentially a major war with his levels. He's gonna have like a level 47 shit, I think. And a le he's gonna have a level 43 though, it's something. No ice beam for you, Venusaur. He's probably still like a psychic to life. We need a psychic on Flareon as well. Flareon's dangerous. Wow. This is gonna hurt me. Shit. Probably Thunderbolt shot on Oh my god, he's got a really good team. Nice crit. I might have needed that. He's still out to beat the Gengar, let's go Zan. Screen to defeat Morty, once again. Get wrecked. Not gonna pick up the Lapras. In runs where I feel like they're not gonna go first, sometimes they'll be like, oh fuck, I'll just pick it up and see. Um, uh, but then, like, if it's not psychic, obviously I have to fucking waste a bit of time depositing the PC. I'm not gonna be doing that. Oh, I'm going for the... the PB here. Like, not just in this series, across both series. It's possible. I think it will have to be near perfection from now, though, to, to beat me too soon. I'll let you know next episode. You know, we'll see. We'll reassess. No. I have got an escape rope for here. Ah, and it did heal in the center, so I don't have to fly back here and just go straight to Sabrina. Just go. Hopefully, I remember the route to Sabrina quicker than the last time. In fact, no, last one it did really well, so the one before it did fucking awful. Now I can escape rope up Sabrina's. And save the last escape rope for the Pokemon Mansion. I can just walk out of lanes, that's not too bad. And same with Giovanni. Oh, I have four, actually. I'm gonna pick up the Psychic TM, but again, I feel like it's just a waste of time at this point. Oh, I don't know oh, there we go. It was a bit longer than it needed to be getting here, but we're here now. Just coming up to the Almar against Sabrina. For future reference on the fast run. Uh, shit. Okay, let's heal up for one. I do need to get potions. Like, the fact I'm rushing things and cutting stuff out might work against me long term. In scenarios like this. Oh, it's typeless, isn't it? Can't fuck me. So it didn't get starbound, its damage seems weakened. But... Mm. 
Mario's not made. Nice, let's go. So we're in the middle match. We defeat ourselves. <laughs> like fucking Dark Link. It's Dark Sabrina. Uh, I think it's Cinnabar I'm going to deposit the items, because uh, we're going to use an escape rope out, so we're going to go back to that centre. So like, that'll ensure, ensure that. And also, um, we, uh, I don't know, I lost track of what I was saying now. I'm trying to just remember where this trainer there is. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, we're we're going to pick up a, an item in here, the secret key. Go. Like I said, I will keep strength uh, at Surf Alt, which is HM3. Don't need some pods too much more, actually. Yeah, whatever, I'll do. We only have to pick up, like, one more key I'm really in this game, actually. And it is in here. So, it's much power. I do that every time. I don't want to go up there, so. Pick that up. Oh, might as well pick that up. Right next to me. Same with this, to be honest. Oh my god, that guy nearly fucking 180 to me now. I always forget that's a trick one. My save state these. Text is so fast, I never quite memorize the actual question. I'll get there. <laughs> I always forget. I'm flat. I think it's like yes, no, 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 no. Uh, then the only other yes is bottom left now. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure. Gym leader seems to have fucking charm on this. Oh, I've seen dog shit after Lapras. <laughs> Sabrina had charm on the Nidor or anything. Guys, charm on the Nidorina. Let's go, boys. Uh, could have escape rope there actually. Could have been Giovanni's gym. Well, will it even send me to Brilliant? I don't need to send me. Oh well, stop it. So yeah, I don't know if it's to go to the Martin thingy after this and get the X items. Dare I chance going through Leaf 4 without X items? Yeah. I think that'll be a stretch. Yeah. Oh, I'll go and buy some. Try and be quick though. You seen Flare Rounds? One of the worst things I can run into. What the fuck? I don't think it's special stuff, is that cool? It's more like attack and defense. Flare Round. <laughs> 
saving Slash this whole time for fucking like, Chansey. I've not seen one, man. I hope I've run into one in Leaf 4. <laughs> like, his own should die. Yeah. We saw if it was a couple levels closer to us, it did live for one of them. Seen a lot of the legendary birds. Yeah, I've still not seen Snorlax either, as well, which is good for us. Could I speed me? No, no. Nice. It would have been quite close up there. Wow. He just misty in the sky. <laughs> He's fucking misty. Oh water geo. What's going on here? Wow, his whole team just got fucked up by Thunderbolt man. I said, like, Thunderbolt was a big find, though. Oh, you can't use Escape Earth, can you? Okay. Sure, let me use it in Sabrina's gym. So weird. Like, certain gyms just... doesn't let you use it. Uh, I feel like all I have to buy is... Ex I'll, buy, yeah, I'll buy about... Say, seven of each. That should do. I bought a Baldaf Starmie. Didn't even end up using them all. So. The drug store. This one. I think. Uh, okay, let's see what these gems were. Thunder Shock. Rock Throw. Horn Attack. Don't need an X attack. That's all. Because we've got the slash. So I crit anyway and like negate any boost. Specials may want to buy shit tonight. I, I honestly, I may not even end up needing these with the, this Alexander battle. Uh, the hope really is if there is a cocky Pokemon on Elite 4, and there is a chance of it, we're gonna have to fight 26 Pokemon the way. Um, hopefully it's, like, there is a Pokemon that I can set up on. We don't want a situation like the Starmie where it did eventually get through, but it took a few minutes, because the first Pokemon out, I think Agatha sent, was, um, a Tauros. And it's such a good Pokemon that it was difficult to set up on. I can fight, I just keep going until, like, a bit of crit. But Fairy's not ideal. This is gonna take more than one hit. Ah, oh, we get the crit! Ah, oh, Kazam! You just. Ah. Oh. Love my children. It's sick. Every time I'm like, oh shit, this thing's a problem. He just pulls out the crit. So, no, get wrecked. That's the last we'll see of Gengar. He's on arrival. No, bro, the fucking bike, man. It's so tired. 
I didn't mean to go all the way forward. This guy's got four Pokemon. Fuck. I just sailed, fucking shot forward like a job on it. Steam locomotive. Oh, just a team full of Pokemon that get wrecked by Psychic Pokemon. <laughs> Electric, nice. Oh well, again, it could just be something we look back on like, oh, that was actually like pretty cool, let's go. So, oh my god. Oh, we got Thunder. Right, we can keep that in case of emergency as well. Same with Rock Pro. So, if it's like a high level Moltres, I can't kill him one with Thunderbolt. I'll just whip that motherfucker out. On the move, sir. Um, what was stored? It should be enough. Tail up. This is insane. 72 minutes into the run, we're at only 4. This could be one of the, the, the... This could smash the PB. If we get a good early 4, let's see. As always, I'll just try and get through it, just naturally. Um, in the off. Ooh, this is gonna hurt me. Ah, I crit. Probably survive that without crit. The worst case scenario, and anyway, I can keep reloading and hope to, that I get a crit on the Tora. It's just pretty likely in the exam. I don't think that last hit on it was a crit. Yeah, there we go. Reload. Can't take another hit though. Could I get away by spinching this? Probably. Yes. So, so, uh, I might have to reload and take the chance to pop a potion here. Oh, nice. Wow, we should have really shit seen him after the tall So, of course, the best Pokemon's out there. <laughs> nice. Come on, let's go. This is it. Oh, thank God for Thunderbolt. So, Bruno dealt with. Bit of a Laurel in disguise, isn't it? A slow roam. Not quite Dugong, but let's see it. Agatha stopped us on our tracks a bit last time with the Tauros. Not this time, too far. Cedra, I probably could get away with setting up on Cedra. <laughs> How many Cedra have you got? Haha, <laughs> she's got. She's, she has got a Haunter. Vanilla Haunter. So many water Pokemon, my man. Let's go. Oh, yeah, at least falls a joke so far. I don't even, I don't even need to use that Titans, potentially. 
Is Lance going to trip as well? We're gonna set the record by a fucking million miles across both series right now. Oh, that's right. The two fights remain. Let's go. I don't think an ice punch will kill it. Oh, we got the crit! <laughs> Boys, with the Zom. Zom the man. Wow, like vanilla, Ice Punch just wrecks his team. He had a vanilla dragon eye as well. And Psychic for the coughing. Uh, am I going to need an ether in this? Is that the balance? Let's all apply one now. What was it? Psychic. T Bolt. Save stay, in we go, boys. Come on. Ah uh, yeah, I will need to apply X items here though. Because the last Pokemon's gonna be a Mew. I'm not sure I wanna set up on a teeny. I'll see what he's got next though. But I might reload and Oh god. Shit. Okay, looks like we're setting up on just teeny. I'll just reload. Fuck playing now. He's got Mewtwo and a Mew. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. The first thing I'm going to do is put an extra defend on. I know Mewtwo was not hitting me through that. Oh, it's gonna use Glare. Bitch. XP. I think I spared the Mewtwo. And then we spam X specials. Yeah, it only hits me in physical moves. Maybe a second X defend. No. And then we heal. Keep using payday all you want, fella. I'll just fucking get more money after I kill you. That's two, one XP, two X defend, two X special. Let's hope he didn't crit me now. That'll upset me. Oh my god. One, two more X specials. Earthquake deals a lot, man. Maybe another X defend. It'll start dealing like 20 off 30. Right? So even a crit earthquake wouldn't kill me here, I think. I'll buy one more special. Right, no, that's free. We put a fourth one on, we risk it. Oh, nice. I was gonna say an earthquake crit there might have killed me. It will ignore my ex defense. Oh my god, this is a crit. Are you a fucking kid of me, man? Fuck off. Oh, it's so frustrating. I set up everything, that was it. I had 4x specials, 3x defense, the next speed. All it takes is one fucking crit from that, but I have to set up on this, because next one I'll fucking mean to. Fucking hell. Honkly, it won't crit me a lot, Dratini. Because of its fucking... Speed size and insane. The gem ones, gem ones. No. That's fucking. Uh, I've sat up for like a minute and a half, two minutes. Huh? I've got the third X defend on. What has happened to my screen now? Yeah, keep using payday, please. That, that's can I buy for? Maybe just three X specials should do it. Because Mewtwo's only hit me with special moves, anyway. Should heal now, after this one. Or maybe just kill it. 
Factor can kill me in one. Oh, I'm gonna heal. Factor can kill me in one earthquake crit. So I've got the glare. See, even if I heal this, my speed will be hindered. So I might have to use an X. A, uh, at speed. Uh, use it first. <sighs> Man, it's so annoying. Post arrival is a fucking new team. It'll probably crit me now as well. I can just forest up. Oh my god. How oh, is it still dealing that much damage? I've used like 2 or 3x defense. I think it outspeeds me now as well. Let's see if they uh, ice punch. I can't even remember how many X specials I've got on. I don't think it's enough to kill me too quickly though. Wow, you've used teleport all you want, please. The fact that I still outspeed me to those positive. Man, his team's so good. And not ideal at all. Any regard. Please don't freeze me. Nice. Yeah, I must have only put one X special on. Of course. Of course it freezes me. Oh, of course it crits me. Fuck off, man. Oh, just kill it. Nice. I need something like a one shot. I hear this Mew still. Oh, um, Definitely had a really bad luck in this fight. Stuff crit me and shit. Nice, we got time to crit there. No crit, and we win, I think. But we're mad. Let's go, boys. Back to back crits to finish it off. We kill that. Uh, the Mew that we started with. And we are done. And this does. It smashes the time of even Mewtwo last time. Time will stop now. That was a really good run. That was like an hour 20 or something. Insane. Alakazam and Mew into the Hall of Fame. I never expected that quicker run. Look at that playtime. 1 hour 16 minutes 51 seconds. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like a half an hour quicker. Well, 24 minutes quicker than the, uh, the one in second place. This will be... It's, I wouldn't say it's impossible to beat, but it's going to be very tough for anything to beat that. Like... Definitely, like, uh, even though we main switched, um, we got Alakazam in the very first route and we found stuff to level up. It started with a really sick moveset. It was fully evolved, it was a great Pokemon. Um, even if we have another run where we don't main switch, I feel like the other run has to be like near, per near perfection. We did come up against a lot of strong Pokemon, but we'd already have a really good moveset by then. Um, thankfully in the major, major battles, until the final battle really, most gym leaders didn't have more than one or two tricky Pokemon. You know, we saw a lot of Caterpies and gym leaders, Charmanders, Nidoran, shit like that. Often the most difficult parts of these randomizers because the gym leaders actually get easier because they're more likely to have like shit Pokemon than good Pokemon. Um, the hardest part of these runs is the start because your bug catcher might have a fucking Mewtwo or something. 
Um, but the early game, yeah, it just wasn't really so much of a problem. Like in another run, that level 9 Primate could be a real problem because it's fucking Primate, it's good Pokemon, but we had Psychic. Really sure. So that run is done, uh, I'm going to look at the fetch the log file up. We'll also look at where other, as always, we'll look at where like other really good Pokemon were in this run. Um, where even is it? Let's take this. Psychic Monotype Gen 1 Sapphire. Oh, there, there it is, the text, the log file. Oh, I just want to have a look at this. Um, see what moves we would have learned with Mew. This will appear as like gobbledygook for you guys. Uh, but I can read it, so I'll just read it out. Yeah, we would have learned Psybeam at level 10 with Mew. Quick Attack at level 20. Psychic at level 30. Did learn Psychic. And Meditate at level 40. Yeah, the Mew would have still been sick. I could probably run this file again. Stick with the Mew and beat Alexam time, maybe even. Um, yeah, it's definitely possible. Because it did have a better attack, so it would have dealt with the Mew too and the, the other Mew better and stuff. Um, yeah, nothing else to look at there. As always, I'll tally up the time properly, the total video time. Um, subtracting the start a couple of minutes, etc. You know, the, this whole bit from the time we're at the NES to the time the screen faded to white, we'll have our time, but it was like sub 80 minutes, which is fucking insane. So let's look at any and every psychic Pokemon that is would have been worth running that I can think of. We never saw Goldo. Psyduck was Psyduck was also to the west. Like the elegant. I could have caught Psyduck. Like I'm allowing stuff like that. Psyduck's pure water, I think, but it evolves into Goldo, which Actually Goldock might be pure water itself. I, don't, I can't never remember if it's water psychic. No, I think it is just water. I think it just lands a lot of psychic now. Anyway, Kadabra was north of Vermilion and um, the mansion. We never did see Abra. Our Alakazam, of course, we got in the first route. So it was also in the mansion and Safari Zone. Slowbro was very unknown. It's probably Cerulean Cave or one of the other Pokemon or a trade. Or it could just be fishing. I don't think or surf. I don't think surf or fishing encounters appear on the map. You know, I'm dying for a week, so I might just wrap this up. Starmie was Safari Zone. I might be going past some air like Jinx. Okay. Mew is on the way there, we start the fit. On the way to Vicky Road. Mew 2 was west of Fuchsia, Safari and east of the Nome. And also it was the Snort by uh, Thingy. <laughs> to be fair, we did fight a lot of strong Pokemon this run. Oh shit. That we actually saw. Like late in the deck. Never did see Snorlax, at all chancy. So Slash was pointless. <laughs> I don't know, it dealt with the Mew 2, I guess. Um, yeah, so all I have left to do, guys, is we'll see what the next run is going to be. Um, we'll open up the random Pokemon generator. This is definitely first, then. Um, the only question now is by how much. I oh, will again tally up the time. Uh, this would have won even last run, so Sabrina's not just won last time. She's beaten her own record this time. They're the two fastest runs in this series of both been by Sabrina and Psychic. It is the most powerful type and I did start with like insane things, which is just insane RNG. Um so yeah, like I said, it's, it's gonna be tough act to I feel like everything else now is is playing for second place. But you never know. Saying like um I don't know. Fire on a start with like Moltres or something? Or the ghost run itself with Gengar I might be able to beat. Gengar last time nearly beat Mewtwo's time. And I fucked up that run by 
not setting all the the lane set or the TMs to four percent sixty uh, four sixty percent good damage dealing moves. So its move set was trash. I went into like elite four of like Ember and Bubble Bean and still fucking finished second. Anyway, let's see what next run is because again I'm dying for a wee bam. Oh my god, I cannot write this shit. It is Gengar. Gengar, oh wow. The narrative of the series is sick. Shit. Gengar was the leader up until this run where Mew took it, well, Alakazam took it from it. Um, we ran Gengar through poison. I've never specified this as a rule. Can you run the same Pokemon twice? Yes, I guess. Um, if it's dual type, and uh, um, even if we ran Ghastly or Haunter, we'll end up with a Gengar and the Ghost Run. So this is going to be the Ghost Run. Morty is back for revenge. It was the rival last run. Now Gengar goes. This might be the first Pokemon, um, and only one left in the run that could maybe go and beat Alakazam because we don't main switch. I mean, we can't. The main stumbling block for this run uh, was going to be. Finding another ghost Pokemon that um, we can use the HM bitch. I might end up having to put HMs on Gengar, which wouldn't be ideal. The only one I'd normally want to give it is Sir, um, because it's such a good Pokemon for your special stuff. But it's very fast. It's very similar to Alakazam in terms of it's it's fast and it's a special attacking Pokemon. It's very good Gengar. Of course, normal type moves can't even hit us. Yeah, we have a we have a serious contender straight away actually for Alexam. I feel like this um could be the last throw of the dice for any other type to, to win, so we shall see guys. The rival for this, like I said, Ghost's uh only weakness in Gen 1 is Ghost itself. Um but we've already had Morty as a rival. So I'm gonna play off the other side of it, uh which is Park Poison. And the fact that it has really low defense and it makes the rival ride on, uh, like the rival ground type. So the rival is going to be Giovanni. Um, a single earthquake. Earthquake's probably the most destructive move we can get hit by or dig. Uh, and ride on will probably have both. So yeah, we, we shall see how we get on, but very happy with that run. Hope you enjoyed it. It was very fast. That'll be hard to beat. Uh, we shall see how Gengar gets on next time.